Hey guys, what's going on? This is Benjamin of Benjamin Exotics, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a ball python live feeding video. So before we go any further, I always do this on all my feeding videos, just so the person doesn't click on something that they don't know what they're about getting themselves into. We're going to do a video today where we're going to be feeding live and frozen thawed, but we're going to do a video where a live rodent that is breathing, you know, alive, is going to be put into the cage with a ball python or a snake. And that snake is going to grab that rodent, constrict it, coil it, basically suffocate it, and then eat it. So if this is not a video you want to see, click off right now. I don't want to see any nasty comments. Do not watch if you're not willing to see a ball python eat a live rodent. Now I normally don't do too many live feedings just because live is much harder to get. Especially in the way that Ohio is sort of shaped right now and America as a whole. Live rodents are way harder to get than your traditional like frozen thawed and stuff like that. But in today's video, I have a baby ball python that is new. I've tried feeding her once or twice. She hasn't really taken to frozen too good because she's terrified of me. So we have a live fuzzy rat right here. We're gonna put her in her cage and I'm gonna walk through the whole process with you guys. Just showing you guys how to actually get a ball python eating, especially if it's on live. And we're just gonna throw her in the cage. We're gonna throw the rat in the cage in just a moment. And first of all, we're just gonna see how she reacts and stuff. So I can go ahead and turn around the camera and we can go ahead and get straight into today's video. So right here we have a live fuzzy rat. It's not the biggest fuzzy rat, I'll be 100% honest with you, but I didn't want the biggest fuzzy because this is the first meal of this girl, so I don't want it to be something that she would have the sort of ability to even think about throwing up. And it's definitely, so I don't want to intimidate her with too big of a rat. So this is a perfect size rodent for this girl. I'll sort of put my hand out, show you the size of this rat. It's not too big, not too small. It's just basically the perfect size for this girl. It's going to leave a little bit of a lump, but it's not going to be something that she's going to have any trouble eating. And we are feeding her in there. She is a spinner. Possible Enchi. I'm saying that there's no Enchi in there, but she is exceptionally bright. I'm going to say still that there's no Enchi in there. And she's also hit clown, which is the big thing. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to open her up. I'll, you know, sort of pan my camera in there for a few seconds and see how she actually reacts to me putting this rodent in there. I might actually try to feed this rodent off with the tongs, to be 100% honest with you. So let me go grab my tongs real quick. And we're going to try to feed the rodent off of the tongs. And the reason I do this, and I know there's a few books and stuff on the floor, but the reason that I do this is that if we can get her associated, you know, with basically if she sees this tongue and then food's coming, then when I have the frozen thawed rodents on this tongue, it's going to be a lot easier. So we can go ahead and bring this little guy down right here. Again, I already gave the warning, so there should be no need for any, you know, dislikes or, I guess, ridiculous comments in the comment section, so we're going to be careful because she might actually smell the rodent. And she is right there, so what I'm going to do... And I'm trying to be a little bit quieter now because I don't want to scare her too bad. I'm going to just take the rodent with the tongs and offer it to her. Now the rodent might squeal a little bit because I don't really like being picked up with, uh, you know, tongs too much. We're going to go ahead and actually I'm just going to drop it in right there. And there we go. Now this, there's a lot of squealing. Now this is a perfect size rodent for this snake. Now she's going to constrict it, and this is one of her first meals with me, so it's going to take a little bit and a little while for her to actually get this, but it's great to see that she has a heavy feeding response, and as you can see, I don't want to scare her off of it, but um, if we go ahead and zoom in right here, she is completely constricted on this rodent, and that's what I wanted. She was in, and did you guys notice the environment? She was in a safe sort of confined space, she has plenty of hiding areas, and she felt secure grabbing this rodent. Now, if I took her out of the cage, like some people say with feeding bins, and I threw her into a cage where she wasn't secure and did not feel safe and comfortable, she would not have taken the rodent as quick as she did. Now, we'll go ahead, and she's going to constrict this rodent. It's actually, you know, for her, <laughs> it takes her entire body to constrict this, and that's how it is with lots of babies. But we're going to go ahead and shut her up, and, you know, shut the lid on her cage at least. And I'll come back in a few minutes, and we'll see if we can catch her swallowing it. Now, I don't to interrupt her too much but this is what we want guys make your snakes feel secure and they will reward you with great feeding responses just like we just witnessed okay guys we are back and it's probably been around an hour since we last fed off the live rodent to the spinner head for clown possible and you guys know what i'm talking about so what i've done is over the last hour i set out i think three medium rats one weaned rat and i think like a small rat that have thawed out in a bucket 
and we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show you guys the process of feeding some other stuff. So this is gonna be a ball python feeding frenzy. I don't know if every animal is gonna take, and I didn't throw out the amount of rats that's actually needed, so I might actually have to thaw out more if I think they're all gonna eat. But we're gonna go ahead and I'll turn the camera around, and we're gonna see some ball python feed on some frozen thawed rodents. Okay, guys, so this is my little setup right here, and all I'm gonna do is we're going to look inside of these tubs and see if we see any animals that, you know, or any ball pythons that look interested in eating. And to be honest, they're not really showing me too many sort of key signs that they are interested in eating, but we're going to go ahead and try to feed some of these guys anyways. So first I want to try to feed this snake right here. I don't have any of my name tags out, but this is a Mojave female. And all I'm going to do is pick a good sized rat that looks for her. This is a little bit small, to be 100% honest. But this is the biggest medium rat I had right now, and I wasn't going to give her a large because she just ate, I think about a week ago. And I could give her a large and she'd be just fine, but I'm kind of saving those for my boa. And all I'm going to do is sit the rat right here, dry it off, and then I'm going to open up this tub. She looks like she's at the very back getting some warmth. We'll let the camera hit a focus for a second. I'm going to take my hemostat slash tongs. She can probably smell the rodent already. And yeah, you can see she's coming, so I gotta watch my fingers. And actually, this is the only time I would recommend doing this, is taking the rat by the tail, which is called zombieing, because this is gonna keep the snake away from my hand. And let's see if she'll take, oh, just like that. I don't know why, but you know, it gets your heart going every single time, just because you know that if you mess up, she's gonna be grabbing your hand and thinking that's a rodent. So all I've done is just gone right there, and all I do is I, lots of people don't do this, but I still do it, even for the adults, as I shake the tail a little bit, just to make sure the snake sort of thinks it's alive, because I have had them drop it before, where they literally constrict, coil the rodent, and then they just drop it and leave it in the tank, and they don't eat it, which sucks. So we'll go on to the next tank. So this is the second tub that we've got. This is a male spider ball python, and I'm not going to give him a small rat, because I don't even think I dethawed a small rat for him. And this is a small, small rat that we have in here. So I'm going to give him a decent sized medium, the smaller medium that I have, which is going to be something just like this guy right here. All I'm going to do, same thing, take our medium rat, dry it out on the towel, just like that. I don't like it to be too wet seems to turn them off sometimes from eating it but that's just my own opinion and he's not he is a power eater in terms of he can really slam these rodents when he wants to but he's not always the sort of most aggressive eater so I'm gonna take this rat instead of doing it by the tail I'm gonna do it by the scruff now we're gonna see if he's interested and we'll see if he shows us any signs of that and I'll try to get this all on camera so all I'm gonna do is come right here and he looks pretty interested Ooh, and just like that he's gonna grab it and again I'm gonna come behind shake the tail just like so and looks like he ate hey guys so as you just saw most of the snakes that we did try to feed today did eat but as always there were some stragglers that just weren't ready to eat today or were in shed which happened to be the case for two of the snakes the adult male normal and the pastel heifer clown and overall all the rodents did get eaten today so none of the rodents got thrown away or went to waste i just threw all of the ones that didn't get eaten into the Mojave Ball Python's cage because as you guys know she's basically a garbage disposal and she'll be good for the next two weeks because she had two mediums today and a small rat because the other snakes didn't eat. So overall, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys could do a few favors before we go, can you go down and smash that like button? And also if you like the channel, consider subscribing. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or any questions you have about this video or if you have any snakes that aren't eating and you're trying to get them back on food, please leave it down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys very much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next video.